My name is Victoria and I started to look into hip replacement surgery because for the past six years I have had trouble getting upstairs, uh, moving around from side to side, I have trouble doing my workouts, I have no more ability to do my long walks which I loved to do and my husband and I did lots of work before on boats and I just cannot do it any longer. We worked on it and we worked on it for more than a year and then one day after we did a particular training I woke up and I couldn't walk at all on my left side, could put no weight on it at all and that was just a few months ago and that was the deciding factor for me to say okay now it's time to do it and I don't want to be in pain anymore and I want to get back to the life I had before, go out for dinners, see my friends, uh, go swimming. I don't even go swimming anymore and I live in Florida. You know, I know we've talked on the phone several times, but today's actually the first time I've got to meet you face to face. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I practice in, in Iowa and where did you say you were from again? I'm from sunny Florida. Sunny Florida. Where they were bathing suits to go sunning themselves in the beautiful weather uh -huh. and sitting on the boats and walking around with bikinis or at least nice bathing suits mm -hmm. <laughs> which is another thing I don't do any longer mm -hmm. so yeah it's always an interesting story I know we, we chatted you mind kind of telling us how did you find Dr. Cagle in Davenport Iowa well I was at another doctor in Florida we already had scheduled surgery and I asked my doctor's office where exactly is this incision going to be because we we looked over all of the important information about the actual hip and the striker system all that was great and then I didn't really think about the incision part because the other stuff was so important but then it occurred to me wait a minute where is this going to be I looked up anterior approach. I found many different. Uh, I found many different pictures of where that incision was, and so I asked them. I called them up at the office and I asked them where exactly is this incision going to be, and they told me to Google it. So I Googled it. wasn't happy about that answer, but I did do it. So I Googled it and. I found one of those pictures I clicked on and that's what brought me to your channel. And then I started looking at those videos and I thought, okay, I could go with any of these other pictures that I have found, which are not very appealing to me, or I could look at this, this very nice bikini incision and nobody will even know that I had this surgery. Because when you're out there sunning in the Florida sun and you're with your friends, you know, you don't want to have these scars going up and down your body. Some people don't care about it, but I just didn't think that was for me if I had a choice to do otherwise. So when I saw your video, I started looking at all of them that I could find, and one looked better than the other. And then I thought, uh, this is the way to go for me. This is... This is the way to go. I can look for someone else to do it, but I then spoke to you and then I felt even more comfortable about doing it with you and thought, all I have to do is get on a plane and take a two and a half hour ride and I could have this surgery. At first it sounded to me, oh, well, why would you do that? And it's because I want to have that nice bikini yeah. line <laughs> because all things being equal, the, the hip itself was going to be the same, all the mechanics were the same, mm -hmm. the system to create it was the same, so I wasn't losing any quality for vanity, mm -hmm. <laughs> if, if I should say that, but I thought, why not have both? If I could have both, just for a plane ride and a little extra effort, that is the way to go. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, it's, um, it's really amazing to see patients after having you know, hip replacement surgery, how well they do, especially with an anterior approach. Mm -hmm. And then this takes it just one step further. You know, it's mm -hmm. as minimally invasive as it gets. I don't know a better way to do a hip replacement as far as respecting all the, and the soft tissue and all the muscles and everything. So we don't cut any muscles. We kind of 
it's almost like a dance where mm. you kind of dance between the muscles to get down to the hip joint. Mm. And you know, it, it was a lot of work to learn, you know, and kind of on my you know, on my own time, you know, putting in how to how to do that bikini incision and to do it where it's three and a half to four inches long in, in your hip crease and you know, and make it to where it's at least it's and it's not just the cosmetics that is appealing to, on my side of things. It's the true respect for the anatomy and to just make it as least invasive as possible. So I'm glad that glad that you could find me and that you know that we can get you back on the road to recovery. And I know I'm yeah. looking forward to tomorrow to you know to the next step and rest of your life so yes I really can't wait to get back to my things to my life before so we'll get you I back to, to doing the stuff you want to do thank you so again no thank you for for coming up here to Davenport Iowa from sunny Florida and choosing me to be your doctor it's a privilege and an honor to work with you so I really appreciate it yeah, thank you so. I'm looking forward to our relationship in the future because I have another hip on its way <laughs> sounds good to me well, I love what I do and I can't wait to, to help you and get you back to what you want to do in life so that's again wonderful. thank you all right that's wonderful you can just go for Is a that, walk okay so now check me out now I'm walking I'm just a little bit stiff on the left side I can just not turn around too quickly, little by little, this away. Yeah, I love the way you just shoot up out of the chair like that. It's just, uh, it's amazing. Yeah, and, that's, and it's not even hard. I don't even have to think or concentrate on it. That's just natural. Mm -hmm. and, and there I go.